Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to my new build, Tien Sand. Now, hopefully you saw my last video on the alternate start, Live Another Life mod, and this is the new start I chose, dumped in the middle of a freezing sea, miles from anywhere. Quick backstory, Tyeen is a red guard, she's a daughter of Lord of Hammerfell, who was brutally murdered alongside the rest of her family by a rival clan. Tyeen managed to escape by sneaking on board a ship bound for Skyrim, which unfortunately was shipwrecked. So this is our new beginning in a strange land, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so whilst I'm collecting the stuff and getting the head out of Dodge, I'll fill you in on what's been happening and what the parameters of this build are going to be. Um, I've been away from Skyrim for a bit whilst I've been concentrating on my Dishonored 2 series, which I know it's my series, but I recommend you watch it. It's seriously a, a great game, um, but it's taken up far more time than I expected and slowed down my other stuff. And now it looks like the game files on my new Farseer build on Skyrim have been corrupted. And that happened when I actually installed a player home mod. Uh, and I've been forced to start a new character until I can recover the Neve build. And then what I plan to do is run both characters um, at the same time. Now it's not such a bad thing as I was planning to do this anyway. And I wanted to use the alternative start live another life mod. And this is pretty much a great opportunity to do it. My previous video um, wasn't so much a, a mod review, uh, but more of a showcase of exactly what starts this mod offers you. So if you want to use this mod, uh, you get an idea of what you want before you start. So go and check that one out. Sadly, it seems this is to be a, a PC and Xbox One only mod and the links to the mods are in the showcase video description. Uh, but also in that video I mentioned there's an alt start light for PS4 and the link for that is also in the description. Okay, all that's being said, let's carry on. So I gave her a brief description of Tyenne right at the beginning. That's to give a sense of her character. She's seen her family murdered and had to escape. Now this is important because the Red Guard's family and honour are everything so revenge will be on her mind. Redguards despise magic, especially conjuration and illusion, as one is considered similar to necromancy and the other to manipulate people's minds, which is considered dishonorable uh, by the Redguards. But Tyenne understands to gain her revenge, she'll need to resort to depths she would never have considered before. She also understands that she's alone in this strange land and she'll have to steal and kill to survive. So in a nutshell, She'll be working with enchanting, conjuration, and alteration, and may even delve into a bit of restoration. She won't look at destruction as she wants her enemies to feel her blade. She's heard of the Thieves Guild and think that thinks that could be the best bet in this new land. Well, at least for now. And she also wants to learn the assassination skills so she can go home and take her revenge. Parameters to be set are fairly loose, non-kill unless absolutely necessary. The living dead don't count, and if in the Dark Brotherhood, contracts don't count either, and get rich by any means possible except murder. Now, I love player home mods, and will still download plenty to do, show do showcase videos, but I can only use them once I'm allowed to own property in that hold, and whatever that value that home should have in game, I'll have to dump that gold in a random barrel somewhere and forget it. The only exception to that will be a home in the College of Winterhold where I'm given a room anyway and I have a mod that I want to use there instead and it won't be game changing in my opinion anyway. I will be staying away from the main quest for as long as I can but I will have to complete the Unbound quest at some stage as some stuff depends on that being done. I will also be deviating from my plans to do some reruns of my best start from new character videos as some of them aren't particularly great, they're a bit old and so it'd be nice to do those again but more as playthroughs rather than walkthroughs. And finally I always use Genesis as my follower as in my opinion she is the best standard follower in the game and yes that does mean Serana by the way. But there's a couple of mod followers I've always wanted to try and I'll be giving them a go. So, all that being said, we can carry on. Oh, I might as well take that now. Why not?
And that's one of the uh, first things I'll be doing in the game. Well, there's a few other things I want to do first, but uh, get speech up to 50. Get the merchant's perk. It's the one perk that so many people forget to get, and it's, it's so well worth it. Better be careful not to drown. Okay. Oh, better be quick. Okay. Right. And there we are. And this is where we've landed, right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I really do think this is the best start to be quite honest with you. There's a couple in there which are, which are really good and really interesting. Does this one appeal to me? Because you're stuck right out in the middle of the ocean in probably the most inhospitable parts of Skyrim. Oh, one illusion. That's pretty good. Okay. And I think that's the College of Winter Hold. And is that a little dead body on the ice floe there? I think it is. Okay, I won't do all the swimming and stuff. I'll leave some of it in. Um, just to give you a bit of flavour. But I'll cut a lot of it out. But this one's fairly close by. Let's go and see what we got. Okay. This would be quite interesting in survival mode, I think. Um, yeah, definitely. Though I think you could die pretty damn quick in here uh, on this particular star. Okay. There's the college. Yeah, we'll head over there. Well, as a young girl from Hammerfell, she's dealing with the cold water pretty well. I certainly wouldn't be dealing with it that well, that's for sure. Okay, up here. And up here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we get up? Can we get up there? Ah, oh, 2 is really frustrating. Uh, the, the game mechanics in Dishonored 2 are so good. So good. And when you come back to Skyrim, you really can see the age of the game, actually. Yeah, I hope in uh, Elder Scrolls 6, wherever that may be, they're going to bring in some better uh, game mechanics. Better interactions with NPCs would be good as well. Okay. But that being said, man, this game is... What was it? 2011? And it's still an awesome game, and there's a huge amount of people playing it. I mean, I know I've only got 200 odd subs, but um, I mean, there are people with uh, million plus subs on their channels, and, and they're still growing. And their channels are primarily Skyrim based, so this game's holding its popularity, and there's got to be a good reason for that. And I've also actually, yeah, FYI, I've, I've installed Skyland, um, which is like a, an enhancement mod, and uh, uh, another mod that actually improves some meshes as well. 
And uh, I don't know what you guys think. I think the game's looking awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I was going to put a weather mod in, but um, I think it could actually um, conflict with Skyland. So at the two, I'd rather have the better visuals and the uh, more realistic weather. It would have been nice to have both, actually, but uh, hey, sometimes you can't have everything. And also, just let you know, I'm uploading this in uh, 1080 HD, so in your settings. If you've got the uh, bandwidth, turn it up to that, if you can, to get the best quality that YouTube allow. Okay, I think if I'm right, the, the college is quite difficult to get to from the coastline. Oh, come on, swim girl, swim girl. Oh, doesn't like that. Hello, little birds. Okay, which way to go? Yeah, the um, the whole video I did showing you all the possible parts that starts was cobbled together very quickly because I thought it was actually quite important for anybody who's thinking about using this mod uh, should get a pretty good idea what they do rather than spend hours and hours and hours testing uh, each one. But it's kind of fun, not having to get in that bloody carriage again. Okay, let's armour up. Actually, we've not done too bad, to be fair. Yeah, we've done all right. Okay, I think I see a wolf up there. Was that my imagination? Well, a week is water, so quick save a lot. I mean, literally, we're level one. That's it. So every enemy is dangerous for us, including mud crabs. And good night. Ooh. Cyan, you are super bitchy. Okay. Nom nom, wolf pelt. pelt. Oh, campfire. Okay, no one's around it seems. Shelley, your ship should have arrived weeks ago and the worst that happened, I'll accept camp this rock as your ship should be. I'm hoping one of these days we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably out hunting, I'll bring some supplies. I'll be waiting here until I see your face again. Ah, oh, poor, poor bloke, he's waiting for his woman to come back to him. And clearly that's him dead. Well, I hope they're together in the afterlife. But I'm kind of questioning. That's a skeleton there, so he's obviously been dead for quite a long time. Why, how the hell was that fire still going? So actually though, guys, if you do do this in survival mode and take this option, 
there's a fire for you to warm in and a bed for you to sleep in. So there you go. Though I reckon probably the camping mod will might be, uh, if you can download it on your particular platform, might be a better option. Let's go and see old Talos. Oh, one-handed, nom nom. Okay. Might as well take it now. This location isn't marked, so uh, yeah, when we come back here, I doubt. Why does kicking a bone give you damage? Oh, barnacles, nom nom, nom nom. Ah, leave the hawkers alone. They don't bother me, so I won't bother them. Oh, spiky grass. <laughs> I've been playing another game, you can see my muscle memory's gone. I've got to read over my controls. Oh, big bad wolves. Okay. I'll try and get that one handed up. Poor little bunny. I never realised I've been playing this game for ages, and I, well, I probably may have forgotten, I guess. But there's actually a bunny count in in your stats, which is kind of a weird thing to have. Why would you want to kill the bunnies? I always try and save them, them the foxes. They're forever getting slaughtered by everything, so I always jump in and try and save them, but rarely can. Okay, just run along the uh, coastline here. There's got to be a way up to get to Winterhold. I really could do with mining some of this uh, ore. I've got a whole load of smithing and uh, potion making to go, and then I've got to work up my uh, work up my uh, enchanting. And that's an absolute must for anybody, is getting the twin perks on the, ooh, or extra effects on, on your enchanted. Damn it, <laughs> my mouse is stuck. <laughs> Go on, turn around. Go get my mouse free. There you go. There you go. Nom nom. I hope I don't hit anything too heavy. I don't want to hit a troll or anything like that because there's no work as happened to a troll at the moment. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good.
and the courier. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Well, thank you very much. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. See ya. Huh? Okay, let's take a little peeky. I think we all know what it is. Mark the high esteem, held by me and my people. You can buy some land off me. Thank you very much. Oh, there you go, so I can buy land in this area now. So brilliant, I can use my mod with a clear conscience. Okay, so here we are at Windsor Hold. We've escaped the ship, and what we'll do, we'll have a bit of a kip before the next video. We're going to join the College of Windsor Hold, which, as I said before, I'll put this into my. What did you do? Um, it was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. Yeah, my best up for new character uh, playlist. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelligar. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a. If there's anything you need, just let me know. And let's so rinse room. It's yours for a day. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Okay, let's uh, knock some of this stuff off to him. Make as much gold as we can. Yeah, I don't want that. Do I need that? No. No, no. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Don't need that, don't need that. And we don't need that. I'll oh, keep those. I thought I had more ingredients than that. That's strange. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay. Yeah, so we're getting to that time to call into the video. As I said before, next video we'll be joining the college and it's really quite exciting to do this whole stuff again as we've been playing quite an overpowered player for quite a long time. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.